Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to a new video today. We are in Sweden and we are going on a drive with the new Nissan Aria. I mean, just look at this design. This is the first electric crossover from Nissan and it just looks gorgeous. Look at those LED lights, very slim with the massive front shield uh, because of course this is an electric vehicle. So instead of the classic grille, we have this Sort of like the shield and the new nissan badge i love this spec with this bright color giving a good contrast uh, with the gloss black elements on the front and on the wheel arches as well let me show you the wheels on the model in our video there we go these are the 19 inch 235 55 r19 very aerodynamic and very unique in terms of styling let me unlock the car so you see here is the charging port and more technical details will be in the description this car is the uh, version with the smaller battery so we have the 63 kilowatt hour battery on this one and two-wheel drive in this one you can also get the bigger battery and all-wheel drive system as well so those are the options three versions in total nice dynamic indicators which you just saw and now without further ado it's time to go for a drive look at this alcantara lovely seats and beautiful layout here in front of us so let's go all right and this is the view in front of the driver beautiful lounge look-alike area and sort of like the living space you see this completely flat bottom and it's time to turn it on you have the nice ambient lights down there and the beautiful layout with dual 12.3 inch screens Look at this, when you press the brake pedal, you also have the animation in here. And uh, yeah, well, it's time to go. But before that, let me just quickly show you the specs. So this is the 63 kilowatt hour battery version and um, DC charging 130 kilowatts. Car has 7.5 seconds time to reach 100 and 160 kilometers per hour is the top speed. Output is 160 kilowatts with a lot of torque, 300 newton meters. But yeah, you can pause the video here to see all the details. But now I think it's time that we go and yeah, well, enjoy the drive. So nice and quiet in here as expected from an all-electric vehicle so as I said dual 12.3 inch screens and you can configure the things that you see here right in front of you see you can have a bit of a different view on the cockpit more standard view let's call it like that and you can also adjust the steering wheel really the torque and the instant power is something that you will definitely enjoy in a car like this and this car has a bunch of very cool features for example look at this the camera is here for the rear view mirror and that way you can see it clearly uh, and no obstacles are here for example, if you have passengers at the back and maybe a lot of things in your trunk, this is very convenient. In front of the driver, you can also get the nice matte view with the dials or with a more minimalistic view, like a big navigation screen. We are driving 
on the beautiful roads here in Sweden. The car has few driving modes. You switch them by pressing the button here. Now we are in sport mode, standard and eco. I'm gonna put the normal mode for now, the standard one. We're also gonna go on a highway and try the sport mode as well. And I can tell you the first impressions, really smooth drive very comfortable and also very responsive on the throttle now one cool feature look at this you can adjust the whole central console it is moving when you press those buttons now the idea is that you can obviously have more space here or uh, you know you can figure it out based on your needs and also when you press this and change the position you also change the position of the gear selector so you can select you know the position which suits you the best and where you think that the changing of um, you know drive reverse neutral and B mode uh, is most convenient for you and yeah speaking about the B mode so when you press this again you go into B mode, which has more recuperation. And speaking about the recuperation, if you go back to the D mode, you also have the E pedal here. And when you have the E pedal, as soon as you release the throttle, the car is starting to slow down. See? And that way, you can drive practically with one pedal and it can be very useful for city drive and let's also mention the AC so you control it here on this panel the air blower and the temperature and now here we have the section where it's 70 kilometers and really the car has instant throttle response and it's a real pleasure to drive it so tell me in the comments how do you like the layout here? And now we will enter the highway so that way we can see how it performs there so e-pedal doing the braking but now we are ready to explore and this is really I mean you need to try this it is so special to have a crossover like this that is capable of you know achieving such fast and instant accelerations so 100 kilometers per hour and look at the scenes here the scenery is amazing
turn on the e-pedal and speaking about the range this car is really efficient so the range is around 400 kilometers uh, with this smaller battery if you go for a bigger battery a WLTP 500 for all-wheel drive something around 500 and around 530 if you go for the two-wheel drive version with the bigger battery so those are the three options either this one smaller battery two-wheel drive or bigger battery with two-wheel drive or all-wheel drive and bigger battery and all-wheel drive is always with a bigger battery so tell me in the comments what would be your choice you see here we have 98 percent and 413 kilometers of range so on this drive computer average consumption 16.5 kilowatt hour on 100 kilometers in the last 13 kilometers rear view camera helping you with the parking and also these special cameras here to show us the whole layout and uh, yeah well that's pretty much it I'm gonna turn off the car this is your handbrake pull on it's already pulled on and one thing that I didn't show you actually is this at this now really this car has some amazing features and uh, let me just grab the key so this is the key and uh, that's pretty much it how do you like the car and do subscribe to the channel as there will be plenty of videos to come that's it for now thank you very much for watching this video bye bye